so a few weeks ago I showed you my super speedy, absolutely no time in the morning, five steps to looking human again routine, which is the one that I do most mornings. But today I thought I would share with you my routine for when there's a bit more time on the clock. It's more of like a weekend routine, it's relaxing, I draw out the morning, there's not really any steps involved, I just go with the flow, and it's just very chill. It's definitely not the routine that I'm going to be cracking out on like a Monday morning, but on like a Saturday or Sunday where I've had a bit of sleep in and we haven't really got many plans for the day, it's quite nice just to like enjoy it. So that is what I'm going to show you today and there's a little bit of a makeup tutorial like stuck on the end as well. So it's like morning routine, what I do in the shower, in the bathroom, without going into too much detail, <laughs> and then a little makeup routine. So the first step is to wake up and I haven't got my Lumi light anymore. I'm quite sad, look it's no longer there. The clocks have gone forward, back or whatever they've done and now the mornings are nice and bright which is just lovely. Along with the evenings as well, I just love this whole spring thing. I'd love to tell you that the first thing that I do when I wake up is some kind of civilized thing like read a book but usually it's a scroll through Instagram, it's a scroll through Twitter just to see what's going on in the world. So once I've woken myself up to that I then go into the front room, get out my yoga mat which is a Lululemon one, highly recommend, absolutely dig this yoga mat, it is so good. It's got really good grip to it and it's quite thick as well so I never get any pain in my knees when I'm in cat cow or anything like that. And then I just stick on a yoga with Adrienne video. I think on this occasion I went for some kind of abs and arms workout which is one of my favourite ones. I will do a link to a blog post below where I popped my five favourite yoga with Adrian videos up so that's like a good place to start. But I really enjoy this time, I feel like it resets my mind into like a nice relaxing place. You get a bit of a workout in, a bit of a sweat on but nothing too strenuous or too much. But after that I am seriously hungry so I head into the kitchen and normally at the weekend we do like a little crepe thing or like a full English breakfast thing but today I was on a bit of a health kick so I did a little quinoa porridge throw everything into a bowl type thing. Again, I've done a blog post on this, so I will link it up below because there's all the ingredients and measurements and all that kind of stuff in there. But all I'm doing is throwing a bit of quinoa into a pan along with some almond milk, just cooking that up, and then just adding whatever you want at the end. So some strawberries, blueberries, some chia seed. It's really nice with a blob of almond butter in the middle as well. Drizzle of maple syrup if you need a little bit of sweetness in there. So after that, do the washing up, all that jazz, and then I head to the bathroom. Room. Now the first thing that I do in there is have a shower. I feel like once you've worked out even just a little bit, a shower feels even more incredible. I'm really converted to the whole shower thing. Used to be a bath girl, now I love a good rinse in the morning and currently I'm using the Aussie Megawatt body wash in the shower and this stuff smells seriously incredible. I think it's got Australian ginseng in. Mm. Aussie stuff always smells incredible and this is no exception to the rule. It lathers up really nice and just leaves me feeling nice and clean. So that's all is good. Get out, towel myself off, then it's time to brush my teeth and for that I've been using the Oral-B 3D White Luxe Glamorous Shine. Nice and minty and fresh and I feel like it leaves my teeth looking quite nice and white and shiny so that is always good. Then I move on to my skincare routine. The first step of that is the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Absolutely love this stuff. Slightly worried because Mark has got into it as well so I'm going to go through it twice as quickly. Luckily I have a backup already waiting. But I just take a pump or two of this all over my face, massage it in and then just rinse it off with a muslin cloth. Then I continue on with the rest of my skincare routine. Now there's quite a few things in that and we'd probably be here forever if I discussed it all. So I'm going to link to my most recent skincare video below where I show you my routine. Everything is basically exactly the same as then. So if you want to see what I do for the rest of my routine then check out that video. Now before I head out of the bathroom I sort out my hair. Now because the yoga with Adrian wasn't that strenuous I don't really need to wash it every day, I tend to wash it every other day, and as today was a no wash day I'm just going to pop a bit of shampoo into my roots. And for that I'm using the Pantene Pro-V Dry Shampoo Instant Refresh, which is awesome, it smells incredible, give it a good shake and there is no white residue and the other thing it doesn't have is that kind of weird like almost thickening texture that you can sometimes get with dry shampoos and you can like feel it in your hair and it just feels dirtier than it did before. None of that happens with this, it really does just freshen up your hair, I think there's a volume one as well but personally I'm a big fan of the instant refresh. It smells really good and it just does what it says on the tin, it does just refresh your hair so I just kind of work that through the lengths, give it a bit of zhuzhing, maybe brush 
my hair, maybe not, and then I just leave it there. If I've curled my hair the day before, I kind of like the second day curled looks, very easy to do. Just run my fingers through and we're all ready for a bit of makeup. Now because we're going with a bit of a weekend vibe here, it's still quite a quick routine, but it just looks kind of polished and a bit of a no makeup makeup thing going on. I've been using the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tan on my face, so at the moment there's a bit of glow going on and I can get away with just doing a bit of concealer on my redness and any blemishes and under my eyes. So for that I'm going to use the Chanel Correct to Perfection Concealer in the shade 10 and I'm just popping that under my lids, around my nose, on the tip of my nose because that is really red right now and I'm just blending that in with a buffing brush. You could very easily do this with your fingers or just use a tinted moisturiser before if you fancy a bit more coverage. I like that it looks quite fresh and dewy on the skin and I'm not going to bother with any other base because we're going out so I'm going to get really red rosy cheeks anyway and I'm quite happy without contouring or highlighting or any of that jazz. So I'm just going to move on to my brows because I always feel like they just need a bit of something through them just to neaten them up, tidy them up. So for that I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. Just use the spoolie end just to get your shape and then just use the waxy end to kind of beef them up a bit, just a little bit. Nothing too crazy here, I'm just filling in any sparse areas and also adding a bit of volume on the top which just helps me to like lift my eyebrows a bit because they can look a little bit sad sometimes. <laughs> because the look is quite low key, I did fancy a touch of something on the eye and I love the Becca eye tints. This is in the shade Romanticism. I actually used this the other day like in the car. I was in the passenger seat and I was quickly doing my makeup in the front seat. I literally just popped the tiniest amount of this onto my fingers like I'm doing today and just blending that in all over the lids. It's so quick, so easy and I love that you can either have quite a sheer wash if you just use a really small amount and kind of blend it in once or you can build it up. It's quite a like taupey look, it's like a lilac-y taupe and because they're that kind of liquid to powder formula, no primer needed. Great news. Then I'm just putting a bit of mascara on and for that I'm using the Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Waterproof Mascara of course. This bottle was quite a new one and it's got to that semi dried out phase where it just looks really incredible. You can really build up the lashes but in a very natural way so I'm just applying quite a few <laughs> layers there. And then on the lips I fancied a bit of colour but nothing too over the top and nothing that would require lots of touching up or anything like that because Ain't nobody got time for that at the weekend. And for that I'm using the YSL Volupte Tint in Oil in the shade number 5. The reason I love this is because you can just put it onto your lips, no other applicator needed, and it gives a gloss but it also gives a stain, and that stain really like amps up over the first few minutes that you put it on, so it's actually quite a bright fuchsia pink. And once that sheen has worn off, you're just left with a very pretty, just bitten into some fruit-like stain on your lips, and I really love that look. It just brightens the whole thing up, makes you look nice and polished, and a pinch of colour in the lips, always a good look. Then I head over to my wardrobe and sort out my outfit for the day, which I've usually thought about while I was in the shower. When I'm in the shower, I have like a moment where I'm like, okay, what's the weather doing today? What am I doing today? What can I wear for this situation? So usually I've already worked it out, but it's always something monochrome usually with jeans, as you can see here. Something very simple and practical, as always. Then I just finish off with a spritz of perfume, back to the original Stella. I love the spring one, absolutely lovely, but I like mixing it up, you know, so I've gone back to the original. I go through this so quickly. I just realized this is quite new and I'm already down to about here. But a very nice floral scent, so I just spritz that on and I'm ready for the day. And that concludes my little relaxing morning routine. So thank you so much for watching this. Obviously not one probably for Monday morning, but one that you can like take elements out of and add a little bit of a pamper into your morning sometimes. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a new video coming on Wednesday. It might be a little bit vloggy. Heard it here first. So I will see you then. Bye.